What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be working on the C10. Um, it's been sitting like this for a while. I got all the wires ran and everything and then things happened. Other cars happened. Working on that. Mainly been working on the red car which is up there. That's getting ready for the dyno right now. But it's just been hectic and I've been trying to organize this shop. Um, might not look right now. Might not look like it right now but this area is a lot cleaner than it was. Um, I'm still in the process of organizing, trying to get bins so I can have things organized, AN fittings, brass fittings, um, weldables. That way I can just get things somewhat organized and not just a hectic shop. So I've been working hard on that, mainly so I can get going on more projects. I have a few other projects that I want to get going. But anyways, to the truck. Um, we're just going to dive right on into this electrical, but first thing first, I need to figure out battery. I think I'm going to mount it here behind the cab underneath the bed. So first thing first is we need to build a battery tray. So while I'm figuring out a design for this battery tray, it's going to be on the side of the frame. So obviously I want to make it so it's somewhat serviceable. So obviously going to bolt onto the frame but I also want to be able to slide it in and out which is going to have to slide out from the side and drop down so which I don't think it'll be too hard I think I'm just going to use some angle iron I have some over here that we had for the Lodestar but we ended up not using it and it's pretty sturdy batteries are pretty sturdy so I think I'm going to use some of that cut it up make a box of some kind and we'll go from there. We have the two main structures done. Now we need to figure out the width and how I want to do the cross bracing. Um, but yeah, it went pretty easy. I also need to figure out how I want to mount the plate in the front because like I said, I want to be able to slide out the front. So I need a plate that will kind of bolt on here because it's going to be underneath the bed. It's because it's going to be underneath the bed. So I want to make it as easy to get to as possible because already being under the bed it's not going to be that easy to get to but try to make it at least somewhat serviceable all right i think i have the box done for the most part um unfortunately we only have six six inch bolts here for a quarter inch and i need like six and a half so i'm gonna have to still go to the store get some new ones some longer ones but Pretty happy with how this came out. Pretty simple. We just have these long bolts that go to the top and bottom with this piece here. And then screw this. The rest of the box is just pretty straightforward box. So nothing too crazy. But I think we are ready to go mount this on the cab and so that we can actually make some progress on the wiring. So I'm going to be mounting the battery somewhere in here. Obviously it needs to be high enough that I'm not going to see it um, underneath the truck or if I do go super low I could potentially hit it. But low enough that the cap mounts right on top of these and so low enough that 
I can still get the battery in and out if I need to and things like that. So I'm gonna, I guess, do some eyeballing and get her mounted up. on the frame everything came out pretty good pretty happy with it I think it'll work just fine I was need to get some longer bolts this one barely catches but this one as you can see we're about a half inch short but I think this will be good I can route the positive cable just straight under the cab up to the starter and then the negative I don't know do some research I don't know if I can just go straight to the frame um, or not, or if I have to go all the way up to the front, we'll find out. But now, I actually have to get serious about wiring. I kind of built that first because I was kind of stalling. Honestly, I'm kind of dreading, not dreading, but I don't know. It's like everything. I overthink everything, and then once you start, you kind of just start flowing with it. But uh, yeah, I've just been kind of thinking how I want to do this wiring for a long time. And now I'm finally forcing myself to do it. So I just need to figure out how I want to route things. Um, but like I said, it just takes doing. So next, we'll be figuring out routing from the battery and all the way up how we're going to power the fuse box and all that. So, okay, we are back. Um, it's been a long time for me. Obviously not for you guys. Battery is in. I have been doing... I haven't filmed a lot, but I've done a lot of work. We have been working towards wiring, working on headlights, um, figuring out routing, and we have done a bunch of stuff in here as pertaining to wiring and everything. But we're gonna talk about that later. First, I wanna get everything kind of laid out on how things are gonna go. I am going to have the ECU and relays right here. If I, besides the fan relays, I think I'm gonna have the fan relays up by the actual fans, but the fuel pump relay and another relay, I'm going to be doing on this relay board. And this will also have the uh, main fuse coming from the battery that powers everything. So this is going to be going in here, which will be a center console area. So I'll be able to have easy access to, I'll have a cover that I can lift and get to the ECU um, relay, all that. So before we do that though, I need to actually build this panel. I just have a sheet of quarter inch ABS plastic. I'm going to cut down to an eight by eight and this will allow me to have my two relays. Um, a terminal, a terminal thingy, I can't think what these are called, terminal block, and then, like I said, the main fuse. So let's build this, get it in the truck, and then we can talk about all the other wiring.
got it all installed. Everything looks good. I'll be routing the main power from the battery. I'll actually be going from the battery under the cab and I'm going to be coming up through this hole. These are old fuel line, um, fuel line areas because the fuel tank used to be right here. So the fuel lines actually came through the floor right here. So it's gonna go up to here. And then from here, we have this going to the alternator and there will be a wad, the power wires going to the fuse block, which is in there. And then here, this is nice because you can just add terminals and connect them to here. So one of them's fuel pump for sure. And I'm not 100% sure what the other one's gonna be yet. I don't know if I need another one, but I was gonna do one just to be sure. So now that this is in, I can start routing things from the battery and actually start powering things. So that is another good step to have and it just looks good. I don't know, it's the little things. It's the little things that, it's the little things that make you feel good. So I think tomorrow, it's getting late, so I'm gonna go in, but tomorrow we can actually start running power wires from there, figure out exactly where the wires are gonna go through the firewall there, start wiring alternator, all that stuff. And then we need to figure out how we are going to be merging the terminator harness into the painless um, chassis harness. And I'll try and walk you guys through that. So yeah, making progress, feels good. So see you guys tomorrow. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here, but I think before that we can kind of go look at where, what I have kind of going on so far. Um, I have things routed kind of the way I want them. And so far I have the light switch hooked up. So that plugs in right here. And then this is actually the um, push start button. So that's all wired up, ready to go. But other than that, I just have things routed to where they need to go. Oh, and I guess I do have the uh, windshield wiper motor all wired up as well. But other than that, everything is just routed kind of in the direction that it's going to be going. So radio, all that. These are like going to the gauge and things like that, instrument panel. So that'll all be right here. And then everything else is kind of routed the way that in the general direction. So alternator wires. And then these are all power wires that need to go to the battery. So they will go underneath. And then how I have the terminator wiring or routed. Um, I was originally going to be going through this hole there, but I decided to go um, underneath the transmission tunnel to here. And this is where I'm going to have the ECU and everything. And we just made this. So that is the layout for now. I just kind of wanted to go over that because I think in the next video, I want to just dive straight into actual wiring. I'd rather have just explaining the wiring in one video, or it might take a couple because it's probably gonna be a lot of talking in those videos, a lot of information. So I think we're at a point now though with the battery, the relay board, main fuse and all that, where we can actually start routing actually wires and making the harness. So I'll be going over finishing up the actual pain, painless harness and how I'm going to merge that into the Terminator harness because there are a few wires that you have to hook up in the Terminator. There are these two and then there's three coming out right here and then all of your output wires that are down here. So running like your fans and everything like that. That's all controlled with the Terminator so that's where I that's where I'm going through and deciding, okay, I'll be getting this from the painless harness and this will be coming from the Terminator harness. So how I'm going to merge those. So that's all coming in the next video though. So I say so a lot, but that's where I'm going to end this one. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.